Well, to insert data into database, we need to connect first to talk with database. Let's go to web.config file of controls.api project. Here under configuration element, let's add connection strings element. In connection strings element, let's create an add element as child. Here in add element, let's add name attribute, connection string attribute, and provider name attribute. In name attribute, set a value that you want to use to reference the connection string. We will use data context class to reference the connection string. Let's name it context to context. In connection string attribute, let's assign a connection string with your server name, database name, and the data server user ID and password for authentication. Let's open Microsoft SQL Server to get the server name. This is my server name, LPT1192. Let's select and copy the server name and place here. And database. We can name our database as our choice. Let's name it dbcontroso. If SQL client doesn't find or named database in server, then it will create one, the user ID. Here will go the SQL Server user ID. In my case, SA. And here is my database server password for user ID SA. And finally, in provider name attribute, assign the value system.data.sql client. Now it's time for us to write data context class. The context to context class. Let's do that in next lesson.